There is something devastatingly ambitious about attempting to translate the works of William Shakespeare to modern audiences. Devastating in that Shakespeare's literary poeticism is difficult to grasp to the novice watcher, and ambitious because of the significant legacy that his plays hold on the world. The approach that director Justin Cassell takes with this visually empowering adaptation of Macbeth is certainly ambitious to say the least. Not catering to the ignorant nor bowing to the demands of modern sensibilities, Shakespeare is perhaps one of the most polarizing films I've watched this year. Macbeth requires the viewer to appreciate the original play, because it doesn't hold your hand and is quick to leave you in the dirt to rush to its next significant plot point. It's not that the film is convoluted more so than it is staying extremely faithful to the emotional impact and meticulously delivered storytelling which Shakespeare is known for. You can't fault the film for wanting to capture what it's like to experience a Shakespeare play firsthand, but I take consideration for the fact that while many audiences would rather just watch the actual modern adaptation of the play live on stage, in the cinematic world, Cursell takes the unique opportunity to project his own visual interpretation to fierce and aggressive results. The opening left me in awe as to how brooding and twisted the world of Macbeth was. There is a sinister dreamlike quality to its delivery, and the juxtaposition between isolating close-ups and desolate long shots heightened the dramatic editing and macabre cinematography. And this is no surprise considering that the film is edited by Chris Dickens, the guy who edited Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and the Oscar winning Slumdog Millionaire, as well as working in sync with Adam Arkipaw, Emmy winning cinematographer of True Detective. The film is enriched in strong colourful visuals, which add to the overall storytelling. The saturated reds convey the harsh brutal battles and vengeful thoughts of the characters, whereas the sudden shift to washed out greens and yellows heighten the more haunting aspects of a deeply tormented man. The film is at its best when it simply relies on its technical proficiency, captivating imagery, dynamic cuts and the intensifying soundtrack which I must give credit as a significant driving force behind the film. Where I believe the film starts to falter is something which is truly subjective to the viewer's understanding of the original material. For a modern audience used to colloquialisms and generic genre talk, the dialogue feels oddly clunky when it's trying to get the most out of its cast. Shakespeare's words are infamous because of how actors struggle to deliver such emotive metaphors and I believe the same is apparent here. The dialogue is lyrical and symbolic in many ways and playing to a certain beat but it's unconvincing when you're used to modern ways of speech. The emotion works better when the actors give subtle but detailed movements and facial expressions. I'd feel more accepting to the film if less dialogue was used, because it doesn't add much more than it distracts from a story which is being retold through a visual medium. Death scenes, for example, are literally speechless and powerfully presented, but in the aftermath of one particular death, I was left numbed by the distraught character's monologue. That's not to say that the dialogue is meaningless because obviously it's intrinsically part of the story, but in modern culture, the film loses its momentum when it attempts to act more like a play rather than a piece of cinematic adaptation. In all, it might be one of the best Shakespeare adaptations, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a great film. It perfectly captures the tone of the original play in a different artistic medium, without losing focus, but at the same time, it's certainly an acquired taste as you might and should expect. I certainly can't speak for the demographic that this film is intended for, in fact I'm sure criticising the film on the grounds that some of its faithfulness diminishes it as a good film will draw significant disagreement but I'd certainly take this as a warning to any of those who wish to see this as a gateway into the world of Shakespeare. It has moments of brilliance and is solidly produced on both a performance and technical level, but it's made difficult to enjoy when you're so wrapped up in the noticeable dialogue and narrative delivery than you are in the sentiment that it's trying to convey.